Right, welcome to the video. So our development is near and practical completion. So since there's no weekend work this weekend, I thought I'd give you a grand tour and stay tuned to the end because I will go through the numbers and tell you how much we paid for it, how much it's cost us to build and how much we stand to make. So we currently stood in the car park area. So we had to reconfigure this entire area. We had to put a new electric post in uh, with a new connection uh, coming off the existing line. Uh, so we had to completely uh, rip out all this car park, install new drainage, uh, install this new footpath along here, which is just yet to be topped. And we also had to put in two new street lights. So one over here uh, with the bollard in front. And we also got a street light here on this side as well. Uh, so that had to be uh, put in. So um, obviously the fence lines are in now. You can see all that is now complete. So we've got a few final snags to do, a few bits of um, painting, decorating to do, and a few bits and pieces inside. But come on up and I'll show you what's what. So both properties have two parking spaces each. One plot, the one on the right, has two parking spaces out the front. And the plot on the left has one parking space here and one parking space out the front. Uh, but both benefit from two off-road parking. So this is the entrance here now into the pub so the pub is next door this was part of the pub's land which we purchased so this is the entrance in here now and come on up and i'll show you the new drop curb that we put in so this is the new drop curb that we had to put in to give access off of the highway so you've got to have five meters of tarmac off of the highway to here. You're not allowed gravel straight off of here because stones will kick up and stuff. So new drop curb in there, new entranceway, a little bit of an area here for uh, recycling. And um, we've got a little bit of stone just to put back in there. Uh, now we've built the wall. So we're not sure if we're gonna paint the wall or leave it red. What do you think guys? Put in the comments below. Should we keep it red or paint it red? So it's one take, right? Right, welcome to inside. So there are two beds, uh, downstairs toilet, and obviously bathroom upstairs. And they're about 74, nearly 75 square meters each. So they benefit from an air source heat pump because there's no gas out here in this village. So you have two choices, air source heat pump or oil. So we went for air source heat pump because that's the way forward. So have a quick look in the kitchen. So a nice modern kitchen, I uh, wanted to keep it quite light and fresh. So um, integrated fridge freezer, powder we use, um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got a built-in integrated dishwasher. We've got space for a washing machine. Uh, soft closing units. Uh, we went for like the wood effect inside the carcasses as well, rather than white, because we think it looks a little bit better. But yeah, soft close, spotlights, extractor, heat sensor, um, out into the hallway, so you have a little space here for your shoes and your wellies. A lot of ramblers around this neck of the woods. Another downstairs cupboard, cloakroom. You've got the consumer unit in there. Nice and tidy out of the way. So downstairs toilet, actually pretty big to be fair. So a couple of spotlights in here, extraction fan, managed to squeeze all that in. Uh, a few little bits and pieces left to do in here, but yeah. Nice benefits from the downstairs loop. And then you've got the lounge, show, dining area as well. Pretty big in here. And you also benefit from the French doors opening onto the garden, which is lovely. So, decent sized garden. A little bit of topsoil left to put in. I'll show you the air source heat pump as well, but it's a quick look upstairs, shall we? Two double bedrooms upstairs. So have a look at the toilet, shall we? bathroom, whatever you want to call it. So, shower over the bathroom, let's have a look at the toilet. Tyler, the toilet has done a really, really fantastic job. He really has, he recommended them tiles and they're absolutely amazing. I think they're really good finish. He's done a lovely job. And also the Mastic Man has done a very good job. Nice and neat round bath. All nice and sealed. Bath panels on. A little bit of decoration left to do here. And um, we've obviously tiled the windowsill. Toilet, and um, we have a towel rail behind the door with a shaver socket as well. Oh, it's big, isn't it? It's a big runner. Bedroom 
Two, bed two, double bedroom, window out into the garden. Lovely. Decent sized bedroom. Little bit of decoration there for finish. Where we have to adjust the doors. And this is bed one. This is the main bedroom really. So again, nice, big, light bedroom. Two windows, which is fantastic. It brings in a lot of light. Uh, similar cupboard is in here uh, for the air source seat bump. Plumber's done a lovely, nice, neat job of that as well. A few little bits and pieces there for us to finish. And then we're rocking and rolling. So next door is identical. So literally just a mirror image, just one's handed, one's not. Um, and I'll take you outside and I'll show you the patios down on the fence line and the gates and stuff and the air source heat pumps as well. So let's have a look in the garden, shall we? So this is the patio all the way down here. Um, can't remember which side the latches. Uh, so close board fence all the way around the property. Uh, we haven't skipped on this, actually cracking job. Patio all the way down, excuse the wheelbarrow. Patio all the way down into the garden. Decent sized garden, uh, just ready for turf now, uh, but nice, nice and private to be fair, not overlooked by anyone. I know it does border the pub car park, but it's a lovely pub, it's a lovely area. Um, you don't get no riffraff in there, so it's actually a cracking space. Obviously patio, um, this is the air source heat pump. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but that's actually on. The heating's on full blast in there, and you can barely hear it, so um, it's, not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but the alternative is a big oil tank in the garden uh, and then you've got to get it filled up periodically. Oil's very expensive. So these are super efficient, super um, environmentally friendly and it's the way forward and gas boilers are being done away with in 2025, I think. So these are the French doors, you can see. Both properties got French doors coming out onto the garden. So nice, decent sized garden. Little little bits and pieces, little finishing touches, little hook just to keep your gate open. So this is the parking spaces. So this property here uh, has got two spaces here, and then the other property has one over there and then one round the back. Um, and then we drop this fence down as part of the planning permission. Uh, it comes down to a meter, and the rest is 1.8 pound of property. Right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of the numbers, shall we? So the purchase price for the land was 110,000 plus VAT. Now we obviously got the VAT back, so really the purchase price is 110,000. I reckon we're not gonna be far off finishing everything with legals, uh, estate agents fees, architect building controls, warranties, architect certificates, the whole shoot and match, the car park, everything included. I reckon we're gonna be in at about 240 grand. So what's that? That's 350 grand. They're currently on the market for 300,000 each. We've sold the plot. we sold one plot. Um, it's su sold subject to contract and the one I'm currently sat in is available. So not a bad return. So with the car park, with these being about 74 square meters and the car park included, that comes in at about 1,700 pound, just short of about 1,700 pound a square meter. Taking the car park out, that comes in at about just below £1,500 a square metre. So that's all in, that's landscaping, externals, legal fees, architects, solicitors, that's the whole shooting match, about £1,500 a square metre in our area. Right, so we're actually contemplating about keeping one plot because it's a cracking area. We're in the sleepy village of Cheryl, which is by the White Horse and it's bordering an area of outstanding natural beauty. And it's just a couple of miles up the road from a place called Avebury, which is incredibly popular. It's a big tourist place, and this would do incredibly well as an Airbnb. So we could maximise our return, and it would cash flow really well, considering the popularity of this particular area. So how did we fund this build? Well, we done it with a private investor. So we agree a set rate per month, and he has first charge on the land. So we own the land, we bought the land outright. So he has a charge on the land. So when the first property is sold, he will get paid first. Any remaining money comes back to us. So that's the way it works. So we're actually gonna open up the house to potential investors. 
serious investors and they can come and have a look around and see the quality we deliver. Uh, we can talk to them about the numbers, our bill costs, the due diligence we do when we're appraising a deal and see if they want to invest in our next couple of projects that we've got in the pipeline. So the benefit of that is we get to know the investors, they get to know us, they see what we can do, they see our bill costs and we're quite transparent and we also give them the opportunity to learn as they earn, so they get a return on their investment and they can come along to the developments and see them progressing, ask any questions, visit at various stages. So that's a wrap guys, but one important thing to announce is the winner from last week's video. So we had famous Fred working with us on a Saturday and Fred is not his real name, his, actually, his actual real name is Jamie and he's named after a, a very famous Fred. The first correct guess was Christopher Vane with Fred West. You got it guys, he is named after the famous serial killing builder from Gloucester, which is only a few miles from us. So his real name is Jamie, uh, he's a top lad, and Christopher, you are the proud winner of one of our Brickwork Minimum Standard Guides, which guys, if you didn't know, you can purchase on our Shopify account. So click the video link here if you want to find out a bit more about it and look in the description to go to the Shopify account and purchase your own copy. So I'll see you next time around. Thanks for watching.